ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 22nd of December. Can you believe we are so close to Christmas? James Spann here. Coldest morning we've seen around here in a long time. But, uh, boy, we got some quick changes coming up by Christmas Day. Let's uh, get right to it. Some Skycam network images this morning. There's a look at the uh, downtown Birmingham shot and that camera uh, site at the uh, Daniel Building on 20th Street downtown showing 19 degrees at 5 o'clock. Here's our Gadsden Skycam. How about 17 degrees at that site at 5 a.m.? And up in Jasper, they're sitting at 18. As we look down on the courthouse square, as seen from the King Building, the nativity scene there. Well, there's the water vapor satellite imagery this morning, and uh, you can see that there is a very cold trough over the eastern U.S., another trough moving into the western states, producing a whopper of a snowstorm out there and a general ridging in between. And, of course, that's the story this morning. Look at the entire nation in brutally cold Arctic air. It's been that way for a while. And, of course, we've been this oasis of warmth, you know, uh, for a few days, but uh, now we are in the cold air. But the warm air is going to come back quickly. And that's the story for Christmas. Here's a look at the numbers this morning. And uh, yikes, uh, Muscle Shoals and Huntsville at 16. And these are 5 o'clock observations. Nashville at 10 degrees. And even down south, it's cold. Look at Mobile. They've got 29 on the Alabama Gulf Coast. And uh, Pensacola showing 31. But again, it's going to be amazing how fast this uh, modifies. Watch warning map. Winter storm watches over a large chunk of the western United States. And, of course, up in New England, we got a blizzard warning there for northern New England. Now, this storm is winding down, uh, but we'll keep an eye on that uh, big uh, winter storm out west. Here's a look at the snow chart for today. Heaviest snow will be in the mountains all the way from Arizona and New Mexico north into Montana. And the general precipitation for the next five days, this valid through uh, Friday evening, Showing a lot of uh, snow out west, rain on the immediate Pacific coast and around here in Alabama, the rain tapers off from northwest to southeast. And again, it's the ridge kind of keeping southeast Alabama dry, that warm ridge, uh, northwest Alabama. That's suggesting rainfall amounts of one and a half inches, but barely enough to measure down there around Dothan. And before we get into modeling here, uh, a couple of quick notes. Uh, there's a look at our day four through eight convective outlook and uh Look at that. Day five, a chance of severe weather over a large part of Arkansas. That's Friday. And uh, we'll look at modeling and see if maybe we'll have an issue with Saturday with that. And then the North Atlantic Oscillation. Look down there at that bottom chart. Oh, boy. You know, we went strongly positive, and that's when the weather warmed up here. Now we're kind of in this neutral phase, but that thing shows a strong negative look as we get into January. And you just have to wonder... If it's cold now, you, you have to wonder if it's going to be even colder come January for a longer period of time. Okay, uh, and by the way, the negative NAO is when it favors an eastern U.S. trough and cold air delivery down into the east and southeast United States instead of the west. All right, this is the 06 ZGFS, valid at noon today. You can see one trough exiting the northeast, one trough coming into the west, and the Flow beginning to more go more zonal here, but of course, uh, cold is the word today. Sunny with a high only in the upper 30s despite the sunshine. But clouds will likely increase tonight, and tonight should not be as cold as this morning. Here's a look at tomorrow, and we've got a southerly wind. The Gulf of Mexico wide open, so uh, we'll probably get down into the 20s uh, tonight. But if anything, we might start to warm up after midnight, and then tomorrow we should rise up into the 50s. A lot of clouds around, but I think the day will be generally dry. Wednesday, that uh, western trough lifts out to the north of here. And notice the warm 588 ridge, and again, nosing in from Florida. And uh, the deal is we've got that surface boundary that's going to try and ease in here at midweek, and that suggests a mild day with highs in the 60s, a chance of showers. And because of the front going parallel to the upper airflow, it just comes to a stop. And accordingly, on Christmas Day, that looks mild with a chance of showers uh, Thursday, and again, highs up in the 60s. Not exactly feeling like Christmas here. 
Uh, and then Friday, the day after Christmas, again, uh, southerly flow, very mild. Uh, we could do maybe 70 degrees on Friday, possibly a shower, but uh, maybe nothing especially organized. Now, here's a look at Saturday starting off the weekend. And by golly, you can see why there's a, a convective outlook of severe weather potential there. Uh, very strong trough coming out across the Plain States. We'll look down below that. That's a deep surface low at St. Louis. That's suggesting a big snowstorm back in the cold air for Kansas City and Des Moines and maybe some type of uh, severe weather threat for uh, Arkansas, northwestern Mississippi, and Louisiana. Uh, we stay dry, and then Sunday, all of the dynamics go way north. I, I just don't think it'll be a severe weather problem here. And again, the front's really having a hard time pushing through here. We'll mention showers and storms Saturday night into Sunday. And a week from today, the uh, front kind of gets down to the Florida Panhandle and stops. The air not really cold behind that. A little cooler, but uh, still, that's not a setup for the kind of cold air we have right now. Now, let's jump ahead and look into uh, 2009, what do you say? This is the uh, uh, second. That's a good-looking trough right there, and if that's right, that'll be wet and perhaps stormy. And then four days later, oh, yeah, now that's what you expect with the negative NAO. Very cold pattern for the eastern half of the nation. And, oh, yeah, little impulse coming along. How about a snow threat for Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama? We'll see. And, of course, this is all voodoo. We all know that. But to understand something like that is certainly possible if the NAO flips negative and that kind of trough sets up. It looks like it'll be very interesting as we get into 2009. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And we are now on a holiday schedule for a couple of weeks, meaning one video per day. So the next video will be here by uh, tomorrow morning at some point, probably early by 7 o'clock. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.